Welcome back to the Hammered Leather Works workshop. Today we're going to make the Just Stitch It kit for the Double Dutch Pouch Wallet. So when you receive your kit, it'll come all boxed lovely like this, especially good if you're going to be gift giving. So we're going to slide off the belly band, open the box, and there's all the kit inside. So when you open your kit, You will get um, an envelope that has all your hobby in it that you're going to need. So needle and thread, plus any hardware if there's any any in the kit. Uh, the leather pieces you need to make the finished product. And your instructions, which is what this one is here. Pop that to one side. Sorry. Pop the instructions open. There we go. There we go. There's the instructions. So I'm going to follow the instructions on this sheet, going step by step, following the numbers. Um, just so when you're doing this at home, you can do exactly the same thing. So I was going to put this up to the side. The only thing you will need to complete this kit is scissors, just to tie, just to cut the thread to size. So in this kit, we are using the sand or tan colored leather and butterscotch colored thread. So step one is to attach the back card pocket. We're going to do this by sewing this, the seven holes in the bottom together. So we're going to, if you haven't taken the chance to watch our stitching video, it's just a couple above this one, make sure you do because it gives you all the basics on how to make perfect stitches. Okay, so we're going to put our thread over our holes one, two, three, four, and then add a needle length because it's a short seam. And trim. Okay. Thread the needle. Oops. There we go, and twist, we're ready to start. So to add the back, back, back card pocket, we need to attach um, this piece to the main body. We're going to do this by starting by going through the center hole on the back piece, leaving ourselves a decent tail. You need to be get in there to knot it with your fingers, so make sure you leave enough tail, otherwise you're going to struggle to get in there to tie a knot. We line up our holes, let's move close so you can see, and now we're going to saddle stitch. The saddle stitching is explained in the top section of the instructions, but there's also a video on it called the saddle stitch, the one needle method. Great thing to watch. So in our seam, now we're going to do our finishing knot, which means we need to hide this tail up through the center. There we go. And trim and tuck there we go step two is to fold the main body so the suede sides are together so this is your finished side of your leather this is your suede side we're going to fold this up so the suede sides are together and all the holes on the edge line up Step three, start sewing from the third hole down from the not folded edge. So that would be this edge here. So we're going to measure our thread again, which we're going to need one, two, well, to be honest, instead of measuring, what you can do is just fold this in half and cut because that's all you've got left to sew is those side edges. 
There we go. Once again, threading our needle. There we go. So we do step two, which is our folding. And then step three is our stitching. So we're going down the third, coming up from the third hole down. One, two, three. From in between the two layers of the pouch. Leaving a nice tail again so it's easy to tie off. Now I find it easiest to hold the pouch this way while I'm sewing it together because it keeps this back piece all lined up with the correct holes and that's really important. So here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, there we go. And then we're going to saddle stitch all the way down to the end and back. There we go, we've done our stitching. We're going to reinforce that last hole. So we're going to put double the thread. One. And then, so we've got two layers of thread in this hole. We're going to turn it over, put two layers of thread of this hole, and we're going to come up through the center between the layers just like this there we go we're going to tie another knot and trim There we go. Now for the other side. Threading our needle. Oops. What I'm doing here is just pinching the end of the thread just to flatten it out to fit it through the eye of the needle better. There we go. Now, same deal on the other side. Third hole down. Up we go. Leaving a decent tail. It goes up there. There we go, now we're going to reinforce the last hole. So we've got our two layers in there. So we're going to go through this hole, through just the one layer of leather, and come up through the centre. I are not. There we go. Trim and tuck. And snap. You're done. It's a quick and easy project, great for a beginner, especially good for getting the basics down. You'll find that once you're finished, the snaps are quite firm because we've set them with a special hand press. So just a couple of snaps, click and unclick. Perfect, you're ready to roll. 
This is the perfect size to hold credit size cards. I'll show you with one of mine. There we go. That's a little bit bigger than a credit size card, so there's plenty of room. Same with the inside. But you can also fit coins and cash and things in there. It makes a perfect present to give as a kit. Or make it yourself and maybe give it to your dad for Christmas. I mean, there's so many options. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget you can uh, buy the kits online at hammeredleatherworks.com.au. Have a great day.